morning from beautiful Wales. Today we're doing something really cool. We are going up Snowdon Mountain. We're not going all the way to the top, but three quarters of the way up. But it's the method of transportation that's the cool part today. We're taking a traditional diesel train up the mountain. Something like that right there. This is gonna be so neat. Never done anything like this before. This is located in Snowdonia National Park. Snowdonia National Park was founded in 1951 as the third national park in Britain. Snowdon's the busiest mountain in the United Kingdom and the third most visited attraction here in Wales. Here we go, Sam. I also got new shoes. All the signs are in English and Welsh. Because, you know, we're in Wales. Mind the gap. Ready to go up the mountain? Always. Each compartment is separated. They put up this like plexiglass plastic dividers between the compartments and that's why when you're in one compartment with just your party, you don't have to wear masks for the train ride. But if you had other people in your compartment, you would. But it looks like they're giving one compartment per party for the ride. Here we go, whoa. <laughs> and we're off. Normally there's a choice between a steam train or the diesel train, but the steam train's not running for the rest of this year because of everything that's going on, but really cool. Maybe we'll come back to do the steam train one day. Look at that like creek over there. That's really pretty. Oh my gosh, we're really close to the edge. Holy moly! We didn't look up too much like footage of what this would be like beforehand because we wanted it to be a surprise. I'm already just like starting to go up. Just right on the edge, right there. See, it's covered in ferns and moss. And the hills are kind of gently sloping, but then there's a steep, steep drop right there. Right on the edge. So the two sides are different. On your side, you've got more of like grass and rocks and a beautiful like hilly hillside view and on your side and on this side it slopes off a little more although now there's now there's more of a grassy kind of thing going on over here but we can also see other mountains from this side lots of trees there we go so you can see like other mountain peaks One thing I'm really pleased about is you never know in the UK whether you get blue skies or gray skies and it'd be beautiful either way, but we really lucked out with blue clear sky today. Not a cloud in the sky really. There's a walking path right there. So some people choose to walk up. Maybe that's one of the paths you can walk. I imagine there are multiple walking trails scattered about. I see uh, hikers far off in the distance on a trail. I think we've gone about 20, 25 minutes so far, right? Yeah. It's gone really quickly though. It's gone really quick. Yeah, and we have about 20 minutes left to get up to Clogwin, where we're going, three quarters of the way up. They're gonna drop us off there for half an hour to explore, hang out, take photos, and then they'll pick us up and it'll be a 45 minute ride back. It's gonna be steep on the way back. Yeah, steep going down. Interesting. And uh, we've seen a lot of sheep, a lot of rock walls and ruin looking things, and the views are just breathtaking. We had a little bit of a stop. We stopped, and now green means go. Oh, look at that sun. There's like a like a fort down there. Ruins. Some ruins. That's cool. Yeah, we're at 326 meters, 1,069 feet. I'm glad they have the conversion there. Up ahead, we've got some sheep grazing. We've seen quite a lot of sheep, just generally in the UK and here in Wales. Look, there's one lone sheep and then a bunch of sheep. 
Look at the cute ones in the shade. That one was the one that was running. He was racing the train. I think he's on a bike, one of them. Yeah, there's people walking the trails there. It looks like there's someone on a bike, a bicycle. It looks like a beautiful walk. We'll come back and do that one day. Walk up the trail. Sam's on the steep side right now. I almost can't even look at that side, but it's so beautiful. But thankfully, he's getting some footage for us. Oh, you like that? Yeah. It's nice, huh? Let's hope this wind thing works. Yeah. <laughs> I can see it moving in the wind. walls right next to us, rock walls. Oh, that is so cool. Ooh. <laughs> I think when he honks, he's honking at sheep. Yeah, they are on the track. See the sheep? We're at the halfway point. Okay, so we're at a switch point right now, as you can see, like right there, and another train will be coming down that track right next to us because they'll be going back down. So we're gonna see them, and that'll be cool. We'll wave and say hi. Here it comes, there's the switch. Woo, I did it! Scary gap. <laughs> we're here, we're at Clogwin. We've made it up to Clogwin. This is about three quarters, I should have put my hair up. <laughs> about three quarters of the way up. Like a lot of other attractions, because they are spacing things out and limiting capacity, we're actually, even though we're getting a different experience than you would normally get, we're getting a very unique experience because we have so much space to enjoy this and see the views. Let's let's show you around. <laughs> I like that wind. I like it too. It mm. feels really good. Even though it was enclosed in the train, the windows were open, yeah. so we did have some wind, but nothing like this. This feels incredible. This is mountain wind, huh? This is only up mountain. Yeah. The fact that we have this bright blue clear sky, I know how lucky we are because not every day in the UK is this clear, bright 
and blue. And because of that, the visibility is so good that we can see all the way to the horizon. We can see mountain ranges far beyond the one that we're in. Should we go over the other side of the track to the yeah. steep a bit? Yeah. Let's go. So since all the signs are in English and Welsh, this one says danger paragul. I'm sure I'm not pronouncing it correctly. I'm terrible at pronouncing Welsh words, but I'm trying. But it's funny because in Spanish, danger is peligro. Oh. Okay. What do you say about crossing it? Yeah, you cross it carefully. Like as in don't touch. Step between it. This is terrifying. Maybe I'll go over here where there's less. This is very scary. I'm not a fan. <laughs> I did it. <laughs> I crossed it. Oh, no, 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 no. Sam, don't go too far. Be careful. It's amazing. I love it. Yeah. I want to go up every mountain now. Yeah, me too. I feel like we are... Yeah. Our new hobby? Yeah. Mountain climbing. As long as there's a train. <laughs> Sam's just fearless. Me, I'm going to a part where there's less stuff to walk over. Okay. Yay! Made it! <laughs> so if you do go up and you decide, you know what, I want to take the train back down. If there's space, you can buy a ticket. Maybe go take a closer look at the train while it stopped and we're up here. I was just told the steam trains have been running here since the 1890s and the diesel train's been running here since the 1970s. I didn't have to ask because it said they've been taking trains to the summit since 1896 right here with the steam train at least. Here's the cool thing here. We're on the Ninian 9 dedicated to Ninian Davies, chairman of Snowden Mountain Railway and to the Davies family. The Hunslet Engine Co. 1986. Here comes another one. They're really small. You know? He just honked the horn twice and he told us that means it's a five minute warning to get back on the train because we're gonna go back down for the 45 minute ride back. And I just can't believe we've been up here for 25 minutes. This has been like, it's felt like so quick. It went by so went, quickly, right? It went by so fast. I feel like I've been up here like five minutes. Yeah, me too. Just like how long I felt like I slept last night. <laughs> hey <-o! laughs> We didn't wake up that early, but we had the alarm set and we were so excited that like, we woke up in the middle of the night. Yeah. Well, yeah. I guess we better head back down. Yeah, wow, this has been amazing though. Unforgettable. We'll do this again. Yeah. We'll do the steam train. Yeah. And we'll go right to the top. Yeah, we'll take the, we'll come back again, do the steam train, and also one day we'll walk. 
So we heard someone else say that last time they were up here, it was so misty and the visibility was so bad that they couldn't see a thing. So like I was saying earlier, like the fact that we have these clear skies and this really, really pretty much crystal clear visibility is incredible. Like it does look milky and misty far away, but it's very clear. All right, oh, here we go. Bye mountains. Got really windy up there, it almost knocked us over. <laughs> it was funny. You gotta like hold things that are in your hands really tightly. We're back! What a wonderful, wonderful ride. That was awesome. All right, that ride made us hungry. Nothing like a traditional pasty to quell your hunger after a train ride up a mountain. Mmm. At the train platform, there are restrooms, there's a little grill, there's a gift shop, there are covered tables, and it's also here on a main road. And it also looks like there are some areas that we can walk around a little bit. So we're just gonna have a quick little stroll around before we're done here for the day. We just saw these like beautiful little side roads and we decided to take a little bit of a walk around. Look at how lovely the stone wall is. And like the weather and oh, it's all just so lovely, Sam. Very pretty. Yeah. It says Castel Dolbadarn. Dolbadarn Castle is that way. I don't know if it's up high or we can find it, but we'll just take a little stroll and see. Look how cool this is, it's a beautiful walk. Even if we don't find the castle, worth a quick interlude, right? Look how cool. <laughs> it's like some camper vans and bicycles. That's neat. And then, look over there, we found it, there's the castle. I don't know if we can make it out there or how to, but we're gonna try. Look at this path we found. Oh my goodness. Uh, we didn't expect that, huh? No, right? No. Oh my gosh, Sam. This was like two minutes away from where we were sat. Yeah, so Sam looked at his phone. He said, oh, there's a castle a few minutes away, like castle ruins. Let's go look at it. Took a little stroll. Castle ruins. We don't really know how close we can get, but looks like we can get in this way. Cool, it's open. Oh my goodness, look at this magical forest. That's pretty incredible. I wonder if that's dry stone walls. I don't know. See the castle above it? No, oh my gosh, yeah! There it is! There are other people in here, but they're like far away. Look at this! <laughs> what a, so we got a hike after all. Even though we didn't hike up the mountain, We've got a little hike. Pretty steep. Yeah. This is so beautiful. I don't know if it leads. Yeah, because look, it's right there. Oh my gosh. Okay, that's uh, that's pretty awesome. Let's see how much closer we can get. I see a fence and a sign. Please take care when visiting this site. Ancient monuments can be dangerous. There's a lot of mud here. And it says, welcome back. So it's open. Let's go in here. <laughs> Castle ruins. Wow. Princes, prisoners, and painters. A symbol of a medieval prince's power, a forbidding prison, and a tower framed by a mighty landscape which inspired a great artist. <sighs> wow. <laughs> Sam, that is incredible this is really unexpected yeah. too we didn't expect to see castle ruins today i really like whales <laughs> <laughs> okay so we walk up this like embankment here and we can we can get up there come on we can do this oh oh it's steep Castle. Thank 
take you, you, I welcome you to be my guest at my royal castle ruins. <laughs> and look. The mountains. That's where we just were. And this is what we just walked up all that. And then all through there. It looks like we can go up these stairs. We just saw some other tourists here. Wow. Take a second to breathe that in. And these are really, really high steps. You getting that? They're very like uneven. Like one's big, one's small. They're not like exactly perfectly even. Oh my gosh. Holy. Oh, look at it. I can't believe we're here seeing this right now. Just a quick walk. Just a quick walk to check it out. Oh my gosh. There's a wooden flooring. Oh. Oh. And a pit and a circle of stones at the bottom. Oh my goodness, this is... Amazing. I felt it move. I felt the floor move. Let me see. Look at them. Can't go in them. I'm backing away. I don't like standing on this thing. It moves. <laughs> Ooh. The round tower was the crowning glory of Luolinab Lowerweth's castle, pardon my pronunciation. A supreme leader of the Welsh, she could afford to build castles in stone. Building began in the 1220s. A wall following the shape of the rocky hill was constructed to surround the buildings inside, all built in dry stone. This round tower was Llewellyn's final luxurious addition of about 1230, this time in fine dressed stone, solidly mortared together. We did see some dry stone walls when we were up on Snowden, and that is walls that are constructed of stone with no cement or material basically to hold them together. It's simply the craftsmanship of laying the stones together that holds them together for thousands of years. That is what I know of them. It may be that they need touch-ups through time. I'm not an expert on dry wall, dry stone walls. I just know they're beautiful and Wow, part of this area is dry stone and part of it is made with mortar. So look at this also, as I was looking up right here, oh my gosh, so first of all this opening, but second of all, look at all the like spider webs that are in there. I don't know if it, if it shows on camera, but there are some beautiful intricate spider webs all between the stones and it's just adds to that like medieval, mystical, magical feeling. The stairs around there must be up to the next floors, which don't exist anymore. Yeah. And you can see where the floors were. This is, this is magical. I just noticed something else. This stone is filled with carvings. People have carved their names, their initials, I guess on their visits to here. That's really, really cool. This is 1901. Throw my hair down. It's getting long, but I don't think it's that long. Maybe we should go. I'm in complete and utter awe right now. But I think it's time to go because we have things to do and people waiting for us. And yeah, it's hard to leave this amazing place, but we gotta go. What an amazing, incredible day in Wales. The train ride up the mountain was absolutely stunning and beautiful. Just taking a train up a mountain was pretty amazing. But wow, then we took a five minute walk over here and found the ruins of an ancient castle. This is just, this is beyond expectations. I couldn't have imagined how magical and wonderful 
this day would be and the amazing memories that we would make. And almost everywhere we've been hasn't been crowded because of the times that we're in. Everything's very, very quiet. There may be like one or two people here and there. You could probably hear there's one family in there now. Careful, watch your step here. A little bit steep. Thank you guys so much for joining me. We're gonna keep going with lots of adventures here, back in Florida, and anywhere we can go. I'll see you guys next time for the next video, and until then, as always, stay in things.